joining me now from New Delhi to discuss this is Srikanth Kandapalli. He's the Dean at the School of International Studies at Jawaharlal Nehru University. Thank you so much for joining us on this news hour. We heard in that report about these three countries being forced into a, quote, marriage of convenience. But who gets the most out of this marriage? Well, uh, in the late 1990s, they began with this multipolar debate, and uh, they have had uh, several meetings of Russia, India, China triangle, strategic triangle, uh, and they have been cooperating in the BRICS and the SEO, Shanghai Cooperation Organization. Uh, but uh, when you look at the triangle, the India-Russia triangle angle is quite strong. Uh, Russia-China angle is also quite strong, but India-China angle is uh, in a way uh, disturbed because of the uh, territorial dispute and the Asian leadership related matters. Uh, in this context, the, uh, the Chinese were also pretty close to the United States. When you look at their trade and investments, mm. uh, they have over $580 billion of uh, uh, trade between them. And uh, so one thinks that the, uh, the Ukrainian issue, uh, there is a certain asymmetry in terms of neutrality. Uh, that China suggests, as you have just played on, played on the TV, uh, Vice Foreign Minister Le Yu Chang's uh, comments. Uh, so there is a uncertainty about China in this regard. In the mm -hmm. case of India, India imports over 70% of the current inventory coming from arms inventory coming from Russia. Secondly, energy imports have increased, but uh, heavy dependence on Middle East. 80% of the Indian oil coming from the Middle East. So that has not changed. Uh, on the other hand, with the India-US uh, 2 plus 2 dialogue between the foreign and defense ministerial meeting, and as you mentioned, the Quad meeting tomorrow between uh, the four partners, that also indicates that India mm -hmm. is putting some of its eggs in the American basket as well. Yeah. Uh, Srikanth, is this conflict that's playing out in Ukraine also something that could possibly push China and India closer together despite their differences? Well, Russia and China have been against the United States hegemony and power politics, as they say. But Indian position is slightly different, which is that uh, India is not criticizing the NATO. Uh, India is uh, neutral, uh, but it is also suggesting to a ceasefire, immediate ceasefire, and no casualties on the ground in Ukraine. So India's position is slightly different from what the Chinese and the Russians have been suggesting. Well, going forward, how do you see Russia's war on Ukraine shaping the geopolitical narrative and landscape uh, between these uh, three countries? Uh, I think it is quite uncertain at this moment, and it's in a flux because of the continuing uh, the Ukrainian conflict. Uh, and uh, uh, we saw, of course, the energy prices are up, food prices are also going up, uh, and there is the, uh, the probable reorganization of the international and regional orders. Uh, so from this point of view, everyone is, uh, uh, you know, kind of careful, uh, including India and China, of course, uh, on the outcome of the Ukrainian conflict. Um, because these are very uncertain times because of this conflict. So uh, not much forthcoming at this point of time because uh, the, the consequences are quite serious for everybody's mm -hmm. economy in the light of the pandemic that we are seeing. Srikanth Kondapali, so good to speak to you. Thank you so much for joining us.